This brief presentation is to provide some very simple models of equilibrium behavior in coordination games uh, to use as a metaphor for understanding macroeconomics. Uh, a lot of people think of macroeconomics just the same as they think of individual decision making in microeconomics. They are not the same. So this is to give some illustration why. Um, we will present a couple of different games uh, that are in the non-cooperative family, which means that each player chooses a strategy without knowing what the other player will do. So they have to guess what the other player will do to figure out what's best for them to do. That's the whole idea. Um, the concept of equilibrium in such a game is due to John Nash, and the equilibrium concept can best be thought of as each player having both a strategy and an expectation of what the other player will do. In equilibrium, the strategy is optimal given the expectation, and the expectation is fulfilled. So these are self-fulfilling expectations and optimal play given those expectations. Here's the simplest possible game. There are two players, a row player and a column player. The row player chooses either top or bottom. Those are the two strategies. The column player chooses either left or right. Those are the two strategies. The game is completely symmetric. The first entry in the box is what the row player gets. The second entry is what the column player gets. This game has two equilibria. Top left is an equilibrium. Bottom right is an equilibrium. So there is a coordination issue as to which equilibrium they will arrive at. Um, Top left is clearly better than bottom right. Each player gets 10 in top left. That's the highest payoff for the whole matrix. So top left, Pareto dominates. It's better for each player. And in this setup, you can guess that the row player will guess the column player will play left, so plays top. The column player will guess that the row player will play top, so plays left. So you can guess in, that, in this setup, top left will prevail. Now, I've changed the game here by these off-diagonal elements. Uh, now there's a um, possibility of a very bad outcome. So top does give the best possible outcome for the role player, but it also gives the worst possible outcome. And so it's much more risky than bottom, which um, has a variance in the payoffs not very much. Bottom is safer, top is risky, likewise left is risky, right is safer. Uh, it's been experimentally shown and theoretically argued that risk dominance can trump Pareto dominance. So in fact, in this game, because of the risk, you might think that they'll arrive at the equilibrium right bottom, even though top left continues to be in equilibrium and Pareto dominates. Here you might think right bottom will prevail. Macro is beset with these potential demand failures. A firm doesn't produce because it's not sure there's enough demand. People don't buy things because they're not sure they're going to have enough income to pay for them in the future. Those coordination problems persist. This little demonstration shows uh, why that might be in equilibrium.